there have been a lot of big names that have been critics of pirate wave theory. When it was presented at the Solvay conference in 1927, Wolfgang Pauli said that this theory doesn't deal with inelastic scattering enough. He was successful in shutting it down and even convincing De Broglie to not pursue the theory even further. Later in life, Pauli called this theory artificial metaphysics. Einstein called the theory too cheap when he saw Bohm's work. Sabine Hossenfeld has said pilot wave theory is not able to reproduce the achievements of the Copenhagen interpretation in the standard model. And what is repeat what she said again? So Sabine has said that pilot wave theory is not able to reproduce the achievements of the Copenhagen interpretation and the standard model. It's not able to reproduce all the results that you've seen from the standard model. David Deutscher has said that pilot wave theory is a parallel universe theories in a state of chronic denial. There are so many of these different criticisms of pilot wave theory. So first, what I want from, I would love it if what you can do is step into the shoes of the critics and maybe steel man the argument. Is there any merit to these criticisms? Are there any open limitations to pilot wave theory that you think have some merit and need to be spoken about? There are some issues, but I don't think any of the criticisms that you mentioned have the slightest merit. Okay. None whatsoever. Because the essence of the theory is to just be clear what you're talking about. There has to be a clear ontology of local beables, things localized in physical space. And any, any serious version of quantum mechanics, I think, is going to have that. Um, the closest to a legitimate criticism, but it's not really legitimate, I would say, is David Deutsch. David Deutsch's criticism is, is, it was viable only to the extent that the many worlds interpretation is viable, which I actually don't believe it really is. But even if the many worlds interpretation were viable, it wouldn't be a legitimate criticism. But now the, the other criticism, Sabina Hassenfelder's criticism doesn't really make any sense since Bowman mechanics makes the same predictions as orthodox quantum theory. It explains all of textbook quantum theory. In fact, all of the rules in textbook quantum theory, all of them are theorems in Bohmian mechanics. So I really don't know what she has in mind. What was Pauli again, Pauli's criticism? Well, Pauli was one of the first few critics because he shot it down at the Solvay conference. Oh, that's then, okay. That was understandable. That he asked a, a reasonable question. He asked De Broly to explain what was going on in a certain experimental situation. Yeah. And De Broly was not thinking well enough on his feet, and he gave a very poor answer. And that shot it down. But in fact, the, well, there's a very clear story about what's going on. There's a very clear answer to Polly's question there. So that that's not a serious criticism, not at all. But there was one about the metaphysical stuff. Um, artificially contrived what was over some of the others yeah late, later in life Pauli had made a comment about Bohmian mechanics saying that it's artificial metaphysics not sure what you mean. look if you just well let me, it's <laughs> easy to see what's wrong with that all you mean is particles means particles you're calling that artificial metaphysics the artificial <laughs> metaphysics is saying the only thing we have is is the wave function that is a heavily philosophical statement that the wave function is everything. All that Bohmian mechanics says is that particles means particles. That's not metaphysics. That's saying what your theory is about. Yeah. Martin Einstein said it was contrived. Well, it, I'm not sure how well Einstein appreciated the theory, but I would suspect he might have had in mind something like this. He might have been, had in mind that he, that he was looking for something Rather, he also said it was too cheap, and it is. It's very cheap. It's very easy to convert Schrodinger equation to a sensible physical theory. Very cheap. Maybe Einstein deeply appreciated that, but he wanted to do something much more. He wanted, because well, here's a basic, a crucial question. Why should there be any wave function of physical theory at all? Who ordered that? As Robbie asked about something else. Who ordered the wave function? Why should there be this wave function? That's kind of strange. Now, it's not a criticism of the theory, but it's a question you could ask about the theory. Why should it have this object in it? Well, Einstein wanted the wave function to, uh, and everything in quantum mechanics, including the wave function, to arise from some deeper theory of the kind he writes, some, some sort of classical type unified field theory. Well, Bohmian mechanics is certainly not that. It just takes Schrodinger's equation, which is in some sense the heart of quantum mechanics, and converts it into something, into a coherent physical theory by saying the obvious. Einstein wanted to do much more. 
Einstein was much more ambitious. One legend criticism, like a one legend comment that you have about pile wave theories was David Deutsch's comment about the man, the link between the many worlds interpretation. Is there any other open criticism of pile wave theory that you think has some merit? There's a technical criticism, which is that the new, the, the usual, the, the, there are two technical criticisms. One, a clear, mathematically clear extension to quantum field theory, which deals with it comprehensively, does not exist. Certainly there are various options, and it would be rather striking if it did exist because even quantum field theory itself is extremely complicated and you have the whole question of existence of quantum field theories is not so easy. If they break down at certain scales, they're not such clean theories. You have to go through a whole song and dance to make sense of quantum field theories. And then the extension of Bohmian mechanics to relativity is not such a simple matter. Things can be done, but there's, I don't think there's any optimal extension to relativistic theory theories. Um, however, relativity already is get, gets into tension with what Bell's great achievement, which is showing that the predictions of quantum, if the predictions of quantum mechanics are correct, the laws of physics striving those predictions, whatever they may be, must be non-local. Yeah. Non-locality itself is in tension with relativity. And so I would put the difficulty of extending Bohmian mechanics to, rel- to relativity, which is nothing reason, no reason that it can't be done, but that it can't be done in a terribly clean way, is related to the fact that there's, it's still not that terribly clean resolution of the tension between relativity and quantum non-locality. So the bottom line there is work remains to be done. Definitely one of the biggest dilemmas of this century has been this merging of quantum theory and relativity and this theory of everything that will bring them together. And you're saying Bohmian mechanics is also probably struggling to bring them together as well. So it doesn't get us closer to that theory of everything. Bohmian mechanics for a system of n non-relativistic particles or a universe of non-relativistic particles is certainly not the final theory. But there are lessons from Bohmian mechanics. Namely, your final theory, if it be a quantum theory and involves a wave function, should involve more than the wave function. It should involve something which I'd like to call the primitive ontology of the theory, what the theory is fundamentally about. In the case for a non-relativistic system of particles, it's the particles with positions. There could be another different primitive ontology, maybe strings, maybe fields of some kind, whatever. There are all kinds of possibilities for the fundamental ontology of the theory. But there better be such a thing beyond the wave function, I would say. And it actually, this, this deciding on what the most compelling reasonable choice is may not be such a simple matter as it happens to be for non-relativistic quantum mechanics for a system of particles, where all you have to say is particles means particles. It might not be the case that the answer is so simple for quantum field theory, for other theories, other extensions of quantum mechanics. 